खानदानी लुटेरों की कोशिश होगी बेकार फिर एक बार मोदी सरकार द डेली हाई कोर्ट डिसमिस्ड अ पेटिशन कॉलिंग फॉर एन एफ आई आर अगेंस्ट पी एम नरेंद्र मोदी ओवर एलिगेशन ऑफ मेकिंग कम्यूनल रिमार्क्स ड्यूरिंग एन इलेक्शन रैली द पेटिशन फाइल्ड ऑन मंडे अक्यूज पी एम मोदी ऑफ वायलेटिंग द मॉडल कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट बाई एलिजिडली डिलीवरिंग अ कम्यूनल स्पीच ड्यूरिंग एन इलेक्शन रैली द कोर्ट रिमार्क ड्यूरिंग द ह्यूरिंग दैट देयर सीम्स टू बी नो मेरिट इन द पेटिशन इट सजेस्टेड दैट द इलेक्शन कमीशन कुड डिसाइड होम टू इशू नोटिस to emphasizing the commission's constitutional authority following this observation the court dismissed the petition The Supreme Court has issued a notice to the Enforcement Directorate during a hearing related to the petition challenging the arrest of former Jharkhand CM Hemant Soren in connection with money laundering cases linked to the land scams. The next hearing is scheduled for May 17th. Meanwhile, during the hearing, Justice Sanjeev Khanna suggested that the ED submit its response. Hemant Soren's lawyer Kapil Sibal urged for an early hearing due to ongoing elections with justice khanna proposing a july date if desired in a separate development the ranchi high court rejected hemant soren's bail plea in a land scam case Mukhtar Ansari's brother MP MLA Afzal Ansari did not receive relief from Allahabad High Court on Monday. His appeal against the 4-year sentence pronounced by the Gangster Act Special Court in Gazipur was deferred after nearly 2 hours of debate. Justice Sanjay Kumar Singh postponed the hearing to May 20th. The Supreme Court had earlier directed the Allahabad High Court to decide on Afzal Ansari's appeal by June 30, 2024, while granting a stay on his sentence. The High Court had granted bail previously but refused to hold the sentence. The case pertains to murder of BJP MLA Krishnanand Rai in Gazipur with Mukhtar and Afzal Ansari implicated under the Gangster Act. The Supreme Court rejected a petition demanding the removal of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal from office related to money laundering cases under the Delhi Excise Policy. Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Deepankar Datta declined to entertain the plea stating that while Kejriwal's ethical conduct while in custody might be questioned, there was no legal authority to remove him from the CM post. They advised action to be taken by the Lieutenant Governor instead. The court was hearing a petition filed by Kant Bhatti similar to one filed in the Delhi High Court which was dismissed on April 10th on the grounds of being a publicity stunt. The Supreme Court reprimanded officials of Delhi Municipal Corporation on Monday for failing to handle waste properly in Delhi. Justices Abhay S Oka and Ujjwal Bhuiya directed the concerned authorities including the Delhi Municipal Corporation to ensure immediate action until proper facilities of solid waste management are available in Delhi and its surrounding areas. The bench also suggested considering various measures including imposing a ban on construction activities. The court noted the inadequate management of waste in Delhi under the law. Previously, the Supreme Court found that out of 11,000 ton of solid waste generated daily in the capital, only 3,000 tons were being properly managed as per regulation. <laughs>